going to talk about in the Boxing Project. There are two software packages with PTSD, uh, which automate uh, testing ports uh, and uh, building packages uh, from FreeBSD repositories. Uh, and we'll try to show you what these softwares are, a few differences between them, and uh, a few indications of how to start using them for people who are still not using them. And I will also try to cover some advanced topics about that. So let's start uh, seeing what is the problem we are trying to solve with these two softwares. There is a need to test uh, that, uh, for correctness of the ports are not supported the operating system version. This means checking where things that the port can fetch, build and install, that the, that the package can be successfully built from it, that the port is installed without leaving the other files. This part is especially important for port meters and uh, maintainers uh, to warrant that uh, the port system uh, was correct. This is just a formal test, uh, not functionality test of installed software is performing. That is something that the maintainer has to do. The other need uh, that arises is to create uh, a cache set uh, repositories uh, for use uh, from the operating system for a set of files, for example. And uh, this also needs at present building package for both the old package tools and the new package ne next generation tools. Also, it is useful to build customized packages uh, with uh, custom options uh, or uh, customized uh, make the .conf file. And uh, also, there can be the need uh, to build uh, packages from a modified port tree, for example, with extra internal with developing ports uh, or uh, while testing, for example, a uh, modified port. Uh, with the port. And uh, both in the box and are two tools. Uh, which aim to solve both of these problems. From then on, just a few keywords I will need later. The jail, in the context of this software, jail is going to be just the base operating system version, which is installed to be kept uh, for user. Uh, it is uh, used to warrant a clean environment in which the port is built and packaging and so on. This uh, avoids uh, problems with interference from other software which can be already installed on this system and also allows to discover missing dependencies and other problems and leftover files after this installation. Uh, in this case, jails are not to be fully identified uh, with the system jails uh, because uh, while one software do use uh, system jails to implement uh, functionality, this means just uh, an installation we can have more than one uh, which will be then used and extracted into a real system jail to perform the build. A post tree, well, this just means a uh, post tree, which can be obtained in various ways, uh, and we have more than one, for example, if we want to test different things uh, parallel uh, and so on. Uh, and so we can have uh, local modifications or not. Uh, we can have more than one, then we will see how to build it. A build, uh, this is the term used by Tinderbox. Uh, in Tinderbox, uh, JS and Postgres are uh, joined uh, in, a, in a build. Uh, this creates an environment uh, and uh, uh, we can uh, personalize it. Uh, so we can personalize uh, with WhatsApp uh, depending on the jail on which we are building, the Postgres on which we are building, and uh, uh, the build, so the combination of the two. Postgres uh, uses another concept, uh, which is a set. It differentiates various combinations of jails and builds uh, to a text strings uh, which uh, are passed to the command line. So every uh, time we start the boot, we can differentiate it from the others just with a text string we define the name for it. Uh, the term that is useful to, to know is uh, it is used by Tinder box mainly. It just identifies uh, ports which has forbidden or broken the file that is identified. This means that the port will be simply skipped by Tinderbox unless a uh, command line option is given uh, to it. Uh, just lists them as uh, uh, skipped ports. Uh, this is just to give an idea of the software. Tinderbox uh, has been written much time before Podrier. Uh, Tinderbox for ADSD has had the best feature at the time, uh, so it relies on external programming languages. And the project was started by. Marcus Clark. Podrier has uh, is a much 
in the project, uh, its objective is to defend all of this system and uh, use uh, the fast features of this system. So it depends only on Chesslitz, uh, who was started by Baptiste Lossin. Uh, at present, the project is also supported by Brian Dewey. And uh, uh, as we can see in the software requirement for the ports, uh, Tinderbox uh, works on all the versions, requires Perl, since it is a Perl, requires a database backend, uh, both uh, MySQL and PostgreSQL. Also, with the latest uh, for the zero version, uh, SQL database can be used. Uh, this is quite useful for low maintenance systems if you don't want uh, to mess around with a few database in the center. Uh, if you want to use the web front end, it also requires a web server uh, with the HP support and we use the uh, FS and uh, FS2 mapping server. But there are much less requirements, it requires a free lessened previous version and uh, uh, requires also ZFS. This is not fully true. Uh, just a week ago, uh, the development version, the snapshot of the development version of Poder was. Uh, uh, committed to Report 3, which drops the strict requirement on ZFS, so uh, now it is possible to use uh, the project without it. Uh, and uh, uh, this is also quite uh, useful. An important note uh, is that uh, for the requirement of, of, of the software is that the base system version on which they uh, were installed must be equal in than uh, all the version uh, for which we want uh, to run JS and with ports. So not ports for 10 current, uh, we need to have uh, it installed on a 10 current system. Uh, the requirements, uh, uh, the requirements I'm going to state are in kind of uh, the ideal solution. Uh, if one wants just to build a few simple ports, one can do it less. If one wants to build the full of ports tree, having more can be used as a uh, those with the CPU, the more the better, more cores uh, means more uh, parallelism, especially with Pojet, as we will see, Pojet applies high parallelism to the uh, build, and also the speed of, of the CPU is useful. Memory, uh, except for being able to build uh, most of the ports, uh, I'd suggest one or two gigabytes uh, for core. Uh, one can do it, I said, uh, with less than one of to build just a few simple ports. Uh, more if using than this, most software allow, this is an advanced configuration, to use memory disks for all the passages on the build. In this case, obviously, the memory permits grow the core. The display required is, uh, these are taken from the websites of Pogermi. Uh, uh, one and a half gigabytes for J is the space taken by the base system. Ports uh, on ZFS especially take uh, a lot of space. Uh, and uh, you also need the space needed to keep the disk files and the generated packages. Uh, it depends on you know, the set of packages you are building and uh, how big they are. And also the space needed by the ports it themselves to be built. Since we uh, uh, build more than a port in parallel, you will need this the laptop and can take quite some space of this big ports. And uh, there is the need for network connectivity to download the sources and these files uh, throughout the whole process. Also, both software allow you to define directories where these files are cached. So, uh, this thing can be uh, spared if you are sure if you have all the these files in your cache. Okay, now I go in a more practical part. Uh, first of all, both ports have very good ports in the port C, and uh, it's better to install them to those. And uh, uh, very good step by step instructions for uh, installation. Tinderbox, as you saw, requires a database to be configured and uh, also uh, installed. Uh, so I take care of configuring the database. And uh, uh, there are a few commands uh, which are stated uh, on the manual to configure uh, its database backend uh, and create its database. What we need to do, uh, which is an important part, is create the JS on which we will run. Uh, Tinderbox is used uh, running the TC command from uh, the script directory in its base installation path. 
usually it is uh, used uh, local in the box. And as the value stop commands, we create jails with the create jail command that <coughs> requires the name we want to give to the jail, a description which is optional. Uh, we need to tell to it which base system version we want, how to get it, where to get it, and an architecture. In this example, I'm telling it to download uh, via LFTP, we use the standard port uh, LFTP from FTP, LFTP imports, uh, to download official installation binaries from the host stated here. Uh, in this case, 9.1 is for AMD64. Another example, in this case, uh, I'm telling it uh, to download using subversion uh, with the uh, protocol SVN uh, the, from the official tree, the head of the tree, uh, and compile it uh, for entry to six. In this case, it will compile the whole space and create a JD from it. We also need uh, to create a port tree. In this case, I'm simply telling it uh, to create to download uh, using subversion, using HTTP in this time, for example, the official support tree, and uh, to call it just FreeBSD. We also need uh, to combine them in the JIT since uh, our work in Tinderbox happens into JIT. And uh, in this command, I'm just uh, telling it uh, to create a build. Uh, uh, sorry, all work happens in builds in Tinderbox. And uh, combine uh, this, the first uh, JIT I created uh, and possibly created in a build named uh, Backlist. Uh, one important thing which needs to be configured in the box is uh, where the log files will go. Uh, log files are defined with the main uh, uh, debugging tool for ports, uh, so we need uh, to give this command to tell it to save logs uh, in this directory. Uh, this uh, Tinderbox here stands for the base installation path of Tinderbox, so which is simply uh, so use local Tinderbox, uh, but can be also changed. Uh, in the box is a little more difficult to configure at the start, uh, map over there, so it's, uh, it requires uh, some manual work. Uh, we now see uh, in the box supports the following methods to download sources and ports. Subversion doesn't much presentation. Uh, LTP will use the port FTP and FTP to download binary distributions and support it only for jails. And uh, these jails can't be updated. If we build the jail using binaries downloaded from the previous project, we need uh, to uh, describe them and review them. While with subversion, there is a command to update them and we just uh, perform a subversion update and then compile them again. User is an advanced uh, method uh, which we, we can furnish it a script in uh, this directory. It expects to find an update SRC script in the directory depending on jails in the box this part. Jail support is depending for which one we are into the script. The name of a jail or of course update.s. It just a uh, shell script which uh, has to perform all the work by itself and create all the needed files. Before uh, uh, doing this, uh, to pass some knowledge of how Tinderbox works inside, uh, and uh, uh, it uh, is good to look at the auto generated scripts from FTP and subversion to have an idea what to do with the script. There is also a known method which we will just do nothing and expect to use a normal setup. Uh, we will see the same example as before, but uh, for the road here. Uh, Pudier uh, can be run from any directory since uh, this command is stored in the standard binary path. Uh, it has a subcommand too, we are uh, telling it to work on jails. We create jail uh, named 191MD64. Uh, we require version 9.1 release for architecture MD64. Uh, Pudier uses defaults. In case of jails, the default is to download uh, via FTP from the official mirrors. So this will download a binary distribution from the official mirrors and create a jail with that. Same example as before, here we are creating a, a jail uh, for 10 current uh, x 6 architecture, download its sources from subversion, and this case the version we want from subversion, in this case just a header, which is the header of the sources. 
you can be able to create a false V. Uh, this is a very short command since I'm using all the defaults. I just tell it to work on ports and create. Uh, it uses defaults which are to use uh, port snap to download the port V and name it default. Uh, note uh, the general names cannot contain dots uh, since uh, Andrea uses his name verbatim uh, uh, to uh, create uh, a system jail later to run the builds, uh, so system jails don't allow that in jail names. So, in that right also. Well, there, uh, so plus, as far as methods of downloading uh, sources and proxies, uh, subversion as before, uh, downloads from subversion allows updating. FTP will download from the official mirrors uh, distributions if they are available. Uh, there are also the obviously NGJB methods uh, with download from respective websites uh, which are made available from the guest developers uh, with snapshots of current view. Uh, one note, uh, the GJB method that present in the latest development snapshot of code is just uh, an alias for FTP since the JGB mirror is not uh, supported anymore. You can, for the ports, obviously, you can also use port snap. Uh, and uh, also supports the GIT method if, for example, there's a fork or uh, your own GIT uh, repository of port 3 of, uh, of the base system. You can also download it from the record if you, for example, have a personalized port in GIT. Okay, uh, at this point, with uh, all the explaining down, the systems are ready to run with standard configurations with the JITs and the post -its. We can uh, also customize it, uh, and we can customize really almost uh, everything. Uh, the two software have two different methods of doing this. Tinderbox uh, expects environment variables uh, in uh, these configuration files, uh, or is there that is uh, the Tinderbox installation map, and uh, looks for these files, replacing or using the name of the JIT process and builds here. In this order, uh, here we expect uh, environment variables uh, with the same values uh, which uh, can go in uh, make.conf and source.conf files, uh, which will be passed uh, to the build. Uh, these files, uh, uh, these are environment variables and are sourced by the shells, <coughs> not by make as you expect. So you have to abide to the shell syntax in these files. Uh, we can also configure options. Uh, we have to enable this feature and uh, tell it uh, where uh, the option files will be parked. The first, this is relative to Tinderbox based installation, it is quite relative part. And uh, uh, populate the sub directories of this directory named uh, after the builds for which we want to configure options. And it expects uh, to find here the same structure we have uh, in the var the ports. Of a base system. One way to populate this directory is just to copy from the, from a base system. This is a fast uh, and useful way for, for some applications. There are also another way we will see later. Code so has a, a similar concept but a different method. We can put in this directory the following files uh, in the, with the following method and uh, which are sourced and concatenated in the following order and are simply copied, concatenated and copied into the build. So uh, these are will be sourced by make in the build and uh, uh, are exactly like the base system files uh, we are used to use. The suggestion use the plus equal uh, uh, assignment to very short since uh, these are concatenated, uh, otherwise we are going to overwrite previous declarations. If you don't want to do right there, plus equal operator. Also, uh, we can configure options will be searched by default in this uh, order. Uh, set name, I didn't explain it before, is uh, the name we can pass uh, on the command line to differentiate various builds if we want uh, more granularity in one with the previous options for configuration. Uh, options will be searched in this uh, order, in this directory. It still expects to, uh, to find uh, the default uh, uh, directory structure we have in RDB ports uh, directory. And Polyar uh, also has a command to work with options. You can uh, just put their options, name of the jail, name of the port three, set, and at least is uh, a file listing ports, one origin per line. 
the minus p option really is optional, and uh, if not uh, given, you use the default for the default policy, never the default. And this will uh, run, make uh, configure recursive in each port directory, so we can uh, configure them using the standard uh, interface, uh, dialogue interface. Please, uh, 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 now I show how to use it. Uh, Tinderbox needs uh, the cache, uh, this side cache to be configured. Uh, expect uh, to run uh, just uh, uh, NFS mount point to get. In this example, I just mounted localhost. Uh, these slides, uh, I can also mount another host, for example. And it will work. It, it obviously needs to be NFS point. So, uh, in Tinderbox, we have uh, mm, two options to build parts. Uh, one is to add the ports. Uh, so it will analyze the port and all the dependencies. And uh, uh, we are adding back just this bit, which is the one we created before, and adding the neon 2 metaport with add all the dependent ports and save them in the database. Then uh, we can uh, just uh, tell it to run this uh, build. It will check the database of the ports it needs to build, check uh, which one uh, it has already built, uh, for which it has up to date package uh, and with only the new ones. Uh, a feature about Tinderbox for there, which is quite important, is uh, both of them uh, will build all the packages uh, requiring uh, the a build, a, a package they have just built. So if we build uh, a library on which another package is depending, it will also build the package dependent on the rest of the library. This is done to warrant the uh, integral integrity of the world with not to have uh, missing libraries or missing library versions, uh, problems like this. An option, to uh, port, uh, we can give uh, minus all options, option, which uh, will uh, start uh, an interactive uh, session to define options for the port if you have to find uh, any good uh, feature. Uh, it can be a lowercase r, which will remove all options and start over uh, time. Or uppercase O, which will retain previous with the final options in contrast to the final ones. And uh, uh, we don't show the dialogue interface for ports already defined in option. And after this, uh, we, uh, we will have the package split. A few uh, past features. Um, usually, looking at the log file is quite enough to debug problems with the port. But uh, we can need uh, something more. So we can create a dot key, an empty file in dot key in a dot directory. And Tinderbox will save, after framing the Tinder part, will save, will package and save the work deal of that port in this part. And we can go there and decompress it and analyze it to see what went wrong with the port if the log file is not enough. Uh, an even more advanced option uh, is the slip me file we can create at any time inside the port directory. Um, and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, then Tinderbox the will suspend the build and we can enter the build with this command and uh, analyze uh, it alive, let's say. It's uh, in suspended state to see what, uh, what's going on. Uh, after we can leave this shell, remove the thing, we find, and the Tinderbox will take cover from where it left. We can also modify the directory while it is uh, post, and it will start from there. This is very advanced feature. I have never used it at the time, but it can be used for some situations. Uh, Packets after the successful build uh, will be found in this directory, which is related to the Tinderbox installation path. And, uh, uh, here we will find the same structure as in the official three uh, mirrors for the binary packages. And this is, so it is ready to be used uh, on uh, systems. Uh, Podiar uh, makes a distinction between testing a port and part building package repositories. In this example, I will tell you to test the port. Uh, it, will, uh, it requires a JDAG net and a port to build. This option is easy to ask uh, for one origin 
and it will test the quality resolution relative uh, to, in this case, I'm not stating uh, the positive, so the default positive. We can also add uh, a minus p option and state another positive uh, It will uh, run, uh, it will default the packets uh, and uh, will run uh, in the foreground the build for this part uh, and uh, uh, perform a few tests. One of the tests it does uh, is uh, use uh, non standard uh, local uh, prefix, so we can also check for ports not respecting prefix. Uh, as an example, this is test port USB, uh, allows uh, to use an arbitrary directory with containing a port, uh, and for dependence, it will use uh, uh, the default port. Uh, but unlike in the latest development snapshot of Pudre, this menu is the option as I made the slides before this change. So. <laughs> Uh, instead, if you want to make a partment, uh, you can uh, install this one origin per line in a copy file, for example, in one example. And uh, in this example, I will just tell it uh, to bump it all the file, the ports listed in the code list, from the defining chains uh, using the default proxy. Uh, the latest development snapshot I noticed it also requires a chain name, so we're not automatically with all the chains. The previous version is used to that. So in this case, for the latest development snapshot, you also need the minus J option. This is a more complicated example, uh, telling it to bug with all the port three in this chain. Uh, using uh, this custom port three, with defining uh, a set name for personalization, for customizations, and uh, minus W uh, tells Codrier uh, to save uh, work lives in case of failed uh, port, uh, like uh, we said uh, table most can do for analysis. And uh, uh, this is this will take part of the time. <laughs> After a successful build, the packages can be found in this directory. Here, uh, the gear is be, to be read as a path relative uh, to where the gear is configured as this based path in the configuration file that will show you the configuration file for the gear shortly. And uh, uh, we can find the ports, uh, package trees uh, in this uh, directory. The set part uh, is defined only if you define the set. And uh, while our files uh, will be in uh, this directory, backward test port depending on which form of the command you have in use. Uh, one note, uh, in case of test port, uh, you will find uh, only the tested port, not uh, the dependencies. Okay, uh, just uh, this point, we will have uh, a package uh, directory, and uh, we will that would like to use it. So a few notes on how to use this public purpose stories on a real system. First of all, on 10 current, both will by default build the package and gene purpose stories. So uh, we do not need to do anything. If you want uh, package and gene for 9.0 machines, 9.x machines, we have to define this first variable for uh, both. And in the box also they requires this one to be defined uh, in its configuration files. For example, in the, in the ones in and the script uh, H and for this uh, In the box also does not need the repository catalog for package and by default. Uh, uh, and so we need to do that by hand uh, using the standard package tools. So package repo and uh, in the directory with the SQLite database of repository and a non flash package uh, for uh, since it is newer and also and also uh, made by the same person that the package uh, always builds the repository catalog after success to build. Okay, we use uh, with the old package tools, uh, uh, that this is standard for so package tools, we just need to have this environment and then define it. The path to a where, where we can find the package. So we need obviously to export the, the directory where we have our package to some software, flash, FTP, uh, 
anything you like. And uh, uh, with package we, we just need to define this configuration file with package types. Now I will try to show you something. I am the directory. I will start with this guy. It's my laptop. It's TASDFS, there is a TV box 4.0 and uh, uh, <coughs> the latest development version of Kodre. I have the directory where I discovered the TV box. Here I can run just a few commands. Uh, luckily, building uh, ports and showing all the features would take a lot of time since it takes time to build ports. So I will show just uh, a fast build of a very small port. Uh, in the time ahead. Uh, uh, first of all, I can uh, list uh, the builds I have defined in this machine. And uh, this is just, uh, I have uh, all the supported uh, versions of previous years. Since this is a black card machine, I can run the builds for all the supported versions and the test ports on all the supported versions. Uh, I can uh, I'll show you, since Tilt the Box also has a web interface, I'd like to show you uh, also it. Uh, I can log in to it. I need to log in. I have various commands. I can uh, uh, use the users, uh, limit them to uh, just a few jails and chart integrations of the jails. So I think the box can also be made public on the web to use web interface for other people to use. This is a very good feature. And uh, I can look at the configuration of it. Uh, we can see here there is a list of uh, builds configured, jails configured, and just one criteria yeah, how they how they are built and uh, built. This is a uh, very advanced feature of uh, Tinderbox, it allows the uh, hooks to be run. I can uh, uh, find uh, hooks for all these states, like these uh, steps in the uh, build of a chain of a resort. Uh, these are just the shell scripts that can do really anything you can think of. Uh, create files, create configuration, modify files in the base system, and so on. It's a very advanced feature which can be needed uh, in chat environments. And here I see other configuration variables, lock the Tinder box and uh, project couple sequence, which can also be very useful with the same parts of the model, this uh, cache and uh, various configurations we can have. Now if I go back to the main directory, I can also see here uh, this is an empty Tinder box, so it's a clean installation. I can uh, queue Port builds, uh, I can define build groups, I define the build groups with all the builds in this uh, machine. And uh, uh, I can uh, start to build for a single port, defining the priorities, uh, or for other ports. For example, uh, fast port build is this one, I add it, uh, and uh, it leads, it has gray here, it's it. The build has to start, there is a small table and in the background. Every 30 seconds, I need to check the database, every 30 seconds. The default is uh, 2 minutes. And uh, here, if I just pick up pick the task, it's uh, creating the environment, uh, seeing that uh, basically it's running a lot, uh, and preparing it, uh, it has analyzed it, it uh, notices it needs to rebuild the two ports to build this one, since it's the current. Uh, it needs uh, to build uh, also the package tools, the uh, package MG tools, and the port. If I update it, uh, you see change color, it is now built into the port. We can uh, go here, and uh, here we see what it is doing, for example. And uh, the time it has taken since start, uh, and this, uh, if the Tinder box has, uh, remembers build times, if it has already built the port, uh, gives an estimate of how much it uh, has to do. This page would be reloaded, uh, and this is an artifact of the CSS using uh, here. <laughs> and uh, this page uh, is reloaded uh, every minute. Uh, now I force it. It has just finished uh, working on the first uh, build, 
and it is uh, now moving uh, on the other one. It is now, it has now started building the other one and uh, now it uh, will go on and uh, run all the period uh, once we see this one has finished successfully, this is the one running, this one still needs to be run. If you wanted uh, to make this one run uh, before the others, we can, for example, change the priority like this, uh, and we will see that after finishing this one, we step to this one. This is just to give an idea. If there is something specific you want to see, I can try to accumulate in the whole time I still have. Uh, now, while it is going on, I'd, uh, I'd see. Uh, to jump into the other build, so just finish it. Okay, okay, now you see it went to the one I, I gave more priority. In this case, it being an 8.3 version, it will be just more ports since it does not need the packer tools. Now, uh, let's see, Poder, uh, Poder can run from any directory. The rail is mainly command line driving. And uh, here I can also list the chains I have defined. Uh, but up to the previous version, uh, registered all its metadata as ZFS properties. From the latest development version, it uh, lists out in some files, let's uh, say, in its uh, work directory, let's say. And uh, uh, these are the chains I built in this machine. I can, uh, for example, with the box, Tinder box and also with Tinder box, uh, I can update the property for the common. Like this, uh, I'm not running this right now because uh, some version of this laptop takes a lot of time to update the property. I can start it uh, and uh, see it starts. Uh, if I stop it, uh, no. Okay, yeah. and we see that uh, it also saves uh, a log file when it is updating the bits and the uh, trees. Uh, if, if we have an error, we can analyze it to have an idea of what's going on. Uh, in Poder, we can update trees just like this. This will update the default part tree, which, as I said, it uses PostNap as default, so it is running PostNap. Quite fast, so we are in port space, so very, <laughs> very few new things <laughs> should show up. And uh, here it is, it has updated the uh, standard was not output, uh, and uh, we can run a uh, bug build, for example, stating the port on the command line for this chain with the full options. Again, we'll, uh, uh, using the FS for uses the FS feature, so it will just clone the uh, clone file systems of the of the jail and uh, the jail scene. Also, the there notices it needs uh, to create the package the package tools. We can hit Ctrl T to see what it is doing. But uh, there parallelizes a lot if it can. It builds a tree of the parts it needs to build. And uh, if, we have it, uh, if it has uh, four CPUs, it will run uh, at most four builds uh, in parallel. Now it is just one since this is a very simple port and cannot parallelize, but in case we would have a zero two line with another port building and so on, and gives us some information of what it is doing. It is now telling us it has finished working on a package, starting or working on package on. And with the latest development version, there is also a, a small web interface uh, with which we can look at what it is doing. It is, uh, well, now it is not too much. It should be not restarted. Yeah, I understand. I have to start another one. Let's start a bigger port just to show up. Um, big office. No, <laughs> not too big. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> Okay, this is a portamente. <laughs> and uh, it tells us uh, where it is. 
this part. So, so this shows us the parallelization thing. You can see it has started four parallel clocks. And here we can see what it is doing in parallel. It is starting the bad part while it already started in eight modules, which is a very small part. And every few seconds it reloads. It is no Ajax uh, pages. It's a sim uh, very simple, just uh, to view what it is doing. But does it work uh, and tells us what it is doing? Uh, it's updating, we can see which phase uh, it is uh, for everyone. Every These parallelization properties are very useful. They really speed up between uh, big uh, sets of characters. So it's a big advantage uh, for that. Uh, um, if you have any questions, uh, it's a very big argument. These are too complicated software package, which you can really do a lot. So covering all of these uh, in 25 minutes, it's not easy. I tried to make uh, a maximum sum of all of it. Uh, if you have any questions, any, anything you could be interested in knowing, uh, I can explain. What do you want? Uh, in your computer, you build the A D six four version and uh, in Intel E three you build the mm -hmm. uh, A six version. Uh, do you have a cross compiler? Or... Uh, this is a feature of the base DJs. Uh, we can have uh, an E three six jail running inside the A D six four system. Since uh, the CPU understands both <coughs> sets, sets of Not commands, so it is a jail with a full stack of uh, commands and libraries. So they just run. In okay, the, so the kernel can. Can you yes, yes, the feature of previous chains? Yeah. And you can't do, and you can't do the, 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 the reverse. reverse is impossible. Uh, this is an MD64 installation, the reverse is impossible. Uh, one note for the post uh, this is uh, anyway a trick. So it will work for 95, perhaps also 99% of the ports. Yeah. There are a few ports which will not work uh, in this uh, yeah. kind of condition. Sometimes uh, the failure is temporary, sometimes it's not. Basically, you have some very smart ports which uh, look up at the environment very yeah, and smartly and decide they know better than what you tell them to. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we st we're still missing uh, a way to reliably build package across uh, architecture, across platform packages. So there is some progress on that front, but I think it will still takes some time. There are some and this sucks for embedded, uh, especially some for our RM. There are some bots yeah. really try to do smart things with their configure scripts and it's difficult to catch it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you see now, one of the builds has stopped uh, since it cannot parallelize more than this, perhaps it's in the build tree. It's most probably waiting on parallel uh, to complete it and it, it will take some time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I think I am finished. There are no questions anymore. Okay. Okay. Thank you all. And, uh, Maybe you could just mention the redpots.org website for people who do not wish to install uh, okay. um, Tinder bots on their own yeah. machine. Uh, there is some people wanting these are tools uh, which are very useful for people wanting to develop bots and test them. Uh, there is an option to use uh, red pods. See, it's www. Ah, yeah. Because it's available to anybody. It's a website made by Dick, Dick, yeah. Dick yeah. and uh, it uh, allows anyone to register in it. And uh, it's a track like interface. Uh, And Q uh, uh, and I don't know, this is another. This is uh, Q, Q uh, builds, of course. Uh, you see, there are people here. This is live. Uh, there are some registered people who have queued uh, the test builds, of course, they maintain. You can register, it just uh, gives you a more sub a subversion repository where you can uh, commit your test changes. It will pick up them and start to build. There are these uh, Tinderbox machines available. 
tries to fake you the various requests and uh, sometimes it is quite busy, you will have to wait some time to get results, but uh, it's, it is quite, uh, quite good. You can also test some more standard configurations, Crafty for example is a machine now with custom local gates and prefix. It's useful to spot ports and study things where they shouldn't, for example. Yeah, or the C line ones in there, I think there will be a couple more custom things. Uh, rather, the, same and, uh, the big thing is that you don't really need to set up everything on your own hardware yeah. and so on. So if you only maintain a few ports, yeah. uh, it's easy to get an account. And then you can actually test on, uh, let's say, uh, architectures or uh, or it's versions that you wouldn't normally use and to the test. And uh, okay, that's the records. Uh, the QT is just testing on commit basis. So when somebody commits and uh, for port, then the port gets uh, gets in that queue and it's uh, it, it's built automatically. And some email uh, reports are sent if the port doesn't build, doesn't package, and so on. And just to show this is every this port is up uh, present is skewed and we can look at the log. This is the same with the Tinderbox log. The same log file Tinderbox will generate. Yeah, because basically the report is uh, errors, problems and so on. Okay. So and red port uses Tinderbox as a backend yeah. and uh, it's got the nice way to we'll check basically front end and some uh, management or things like that and so on, but in the back there's uh, there's Tinderbox instances. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's in Italian inside of uh, Firefox <laughs> configured to prefer Italian, but uh, you can register uh, register an account, uh, anyone can just uh, fill the form. Okay. I hope I have been... Uh, <laughs> Great.